Be ready for the dictation. Start. This appeal is placed before this bench in view of the reference made by the division bench. The appeal arises from an order of the learned single judge dismissing the writ petition summarily on the ground that significant part of the cause of action could not be said to have arisen within the territorial jurisdiction of this court merely because the order under challenge had been passed by the appellate authority located within its territorial jurisdiction when the events leading to the filing of the proceedings before the appellate authority and the parties to such. Proceedings are located outside the territorial jurisdiction of this court. The learned single judge relying on various judgments held that going by the strict provisions of Clause 1 of Article 226 of the Constitution of India, this court had the jurisdiction to entertain the petition, however. The basic issue was whether this court really was the most appropriate forum to decide the present petition considering that the significant part of the cause of action imperative for the effective settlement of disputes had not arisen within its territorial jurisdiction. The learned single judge further held that any stand taken by him to the contrary would lie in the teeth of the consistent and settled approach adopted by the Supreme Court as well as this court in various judgments referred to above. When this matter came up for hearing before the division bench, it was sought to be urged on behalf of the appellant that the view taken by the single judge runs counter to the decisions of the Supreme Court. It was also contended that the decisions relied upon by the learned single judge dealt with statutory appeals and the law as laid down therein could not be applied to a writ petition where the jurisdiction of this court has been invoked under Article 226 of the Constitution of India. A contention was also raised that the order of the original authority merged in the order of the appellate authority and thus the courts in Andhra Pradesh could have no jurisdiction to entertain the writ petition, which challenged the order of the appellate authority located in Delhi. We, therefore, proceed to deal with the limited question of jurisdiction. We are at present not concerned with merits of the disputes between the parties, for the matter has not yet been heard on merits. It is, therefore, not necessary to set out the facts in detail. It is, however, necessary to examine the scope and nature of proceedings before the appellate authority, which led to the filing of the petition in this court. For the foregoing reasons, we hold that where an order is passed by an appellate authority or a revisional authority, a part of cause arises at that place. When the original authority is situated at one place and the appellate authority is situated at another, a writ petition would be maintainable at both the places. As the order of appellate authority constitutes a part of cause of action, a writ petition would be maintainable in the High Court within whose jurisdiction it is situated. In the result, the appeal is allowed. The order passed by the learned single judge is set aside. The writ petition is restored to file. The learned single judge is requested to decide the writ petition.